Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to adjust the hole size on the needle of your tufting gun. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust the hole size on the needle of your tufting gun. There's a couple different reasons why you wanna do this. Um, you may or may not want to, but it just depends on what troubles that you're having. Now, when these machines come from the manufacturer, sometimes they just kind of slap them together and they go. Um, so your hole size could be extremely small. Let's say you're trying to get multiple uh, strands of yarn through your uh, through the needle and you're having a difficulty time doing that. Um, the biggest issue though um, is be aware that you may have to adjust this a few times to get it right. Um, <clears throat> not every machine has an adjustable hole size. There's actually a little slide on the bottom of it and I'm gonna show you how to adjust that. Um, but be aware that not every machine you're able to do this with. For the most part, uh, the machines I sell and the AK ones, they all have that. Um, and we'll dive right into that. The only tools that you're gonna need is an Allen stock set. This is pretty simple to do um, and we're gonna go right into it. Now I actually have one of my machines already broken down um, so I can show you this a little bit easier and let's do a close up. All right, so grab our tufting machine, right? As you can see, there's a hole right there. That's where your yarn goes through. Now, some of these holes are adjustable. If you look on the bottom side, there's actually a little slide. You see a little black piece right there? That can go, that can slide backwards and forwards to make your, to close the hole or open the hole a little bit further. All right, if, you're, if yours is slid a little too far forward, your hole's gonna be really small and it's gonna be hard to get yarn through there. I will say before you do this, go ahead and get one of these large, long threaders and try to thread the yarn through there so you're not making an additional adjustments to the machine that may not be needed it may not need to be made. However, if you're still having trouble, go ahead and play with it. It's not gonna hurt anything. Go ahead and grab your Allen stock set. How you do this, uh, on my machine specifically, if you look at the top rail right here, all right, top rail, this screw right here, you just loosen that up, okay? Now I have one of my machines already broke down to kind of show you this. Now this is what it looks like internally when it's already pulled out. All right, this is the screw you're, you're worried about. But if you look on the back side, this, this bar, right, is actually just tightened with that nut right there. So if you loosen this up, that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go ahead and grab this, grab our Allen stock, and we're gonna loosen this one up. Did I grab the right one? I did. See that? And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna loosen it just a hair. If I can make sure I got the right Allen stock. Nope. All right, well, my Allen stock set wasn't the greatest. Um, this was a little cheapo one that came from with my 3D printer. However, your machines should come with a set of Allen stocks, so I had to go find those real quick. All right, so what we're gonna do is, all we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this top one here, right? The top one. Just loosen it up. And all that's doing is that just loosening that nut underneath. That's all it's doing. Okay. Now, if you wanted to go backwards, I use, I when I did mine, I just used the Allen stock itself and slid that little black piece backwards. See how it slides back a little bit? If you want to move it forwards, you may have to get from underneath here, underneath your machine, and slide that little bit forwards, just like that. And what that'll do is that will close, you have to just play with it a little bit. That would just close your hole. See, now it's completely closed. Slide it back. Just slide it back just a little bit. Now, I have mine on my machine that I use consecutively, pretty much all the way open, just like that. And then all you do is just tighten it back down. That's it. Don't forget, this is the screw we're talking about right here, this front one. Don't mess with these two. These two are what actually screw your needle into the uh, bar that goes across, all right? That little black bar that adjusts the hole size actually stretches over those bolts, so don't worry about the, these, two, these two right here. No, 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 yes. No, no, yes. All right, hope that helped. 